Hello everyone. Mm, after releasing few videos, I got few requests to discuss about some Java fundamental concepts and some theories. Uh, also, I think that's worth because, as I mentioned in the previous video as well, the people who is uh, newbies and who's coming to Java developers who's going to start their first job as a Java engineer. Uh, when we do some interviews and exams and stuff, we re, uh, like we realize uh, some some developers comes with a lack of fundamental knowledge. They can write Java program, but some fun, uh, lack of fundamental knowledge. So uh, from here onwards, I'm going to um, release few videos to discuss some Java fundamentals, Java architecture, Java concepts. Keep in mind, I'm not going to give a full uh, training and uh, this like i i'm not saying uh, if you follow this video you will be a expert full-fledged java, java developer uh, you should do some work from yourself to get uh, up to the standard but this video i can guarantee it, i can promise you will really help to understand some fundamental basic concepts so my my vision is if you know the basic if you know fundamentals it's very easy to get the uh, rest of the thing into your knowledge um, okay we are from where do we start mm, java virtual machine jvm almost all developers almost all candidates who's coming to java uh, development world know there is something called jvm but what they don't know is where this jvm exists and what it do what it can't do and so far so on okay if I ask uh, what what is the job of the JVM, everyone will hands up and tell me JVM is there for convert bytecode into the machine code or otherwise run Java program. Okay, that's not uh, wrong, but that's not really true. I mean, that is not the complete job of the JVM. Okay, so Java virtual machine before getting to the JVM, we need to understand what is a virtual machine is. Okay, let's go word by word. Uh, virtual machine. Okay, the virtual means is not in the reality. That's a simple term. Virtual means not in the reality. We have a virtual classroom. See, I'm in one corner on, uh, in the world and you may be in a different corner in the world. But I'm going to give my some thoughts my knowledge to you you are going to learn that so this is a uh, classroom but virtual because we don't know each other we are not uh, talking face to face so we have a virtual reality so we uh, wear some glasses and stuff and we we are trying to um, simulate the reality uh, maybe through a 3d or 4d movies or any some kind of a way and we have a virtual uh, shops, we have a virtual movie theaters. So that means those are not real, but we are, those will simulate the environment to make you feel as a real. So that's called virtual. Then what is a machine? Machine is nothing but uh, some device, some uh, item which helps you to do your work. For example, a car is a machine and uh, you may have a uh, different different machine for different different things that make your life easy so the virtual machine is there is a machine but that is not real that's a virtual right okay so now you know virtual uh, machine java virtual machine is something is not exist okay so after this video try to google or try to uh, go to the internet and see download jvm and install you can't find something like that because there is nothing exist physically or entity wise called jvm okay so then why everyone talking about the jvm java virtual there is something called java virtual machine there is something called jvm but it is virtual that means it not re it is not exist so you can't install you can't uninstall because it's just a program you can install jre you can install jdk but there is no way you to install jvm 
okay so then what is this before understand what is jvm is you need to understand what is virtual machine is because without understanding virtual machine there is no way you to understand jvm so what is the virtual machine what are the type of virtual machines available let's discuss about that first before you go into jvm so there are two types of virtual machine if you take virtual machines so there are two types of virtual machines one is svm other one is avm so svm means system based virtual machine the avm means application based virtual machine okay so what are the system based virtual machines so if you take so the, the characteristic of this is this may have one or uh, some hardware and this create an environment you to um, work for multiple users or multiple instances over that so if you um, if you get hypervisor or send send those type of we can consider as a system based virtual machine they may have a one uh, the characteristic is one hardware or multiple but it create it creates multiple environments to work and the most important thing is these environments are completely independent these environments are completely independent so in this side application virtual machine means you don't have uh, any hardware device involved but you may have a application may you may have a software which uh, helps you to create a platform to run other programs for example jvm java virtual machine uh, also there is something called clr common language runtime which helps dotnet to uh, get their work like do this uh, create a virtual virtual environment for dotnet program and there is something called pvm parrot virtual machine the parrot virtual machine means uh, it is a uh, it's introduced with perl it's uh, create environment for dynamic language it is very lightweight uh, very efficient uh, virtual machine so the app, uh, the characteristics the application based is there is no hardware involved while a uh, system based virtual machine there is a hardware but it create a multiple uh, environment which is completely independent from each other but here there is no hardware but it create a platform create environment to run some kind of a language uh, there is if, if you get this a platform it get some input some kind of a language and it convert to different uh, language or different output which can someone else can understand so this is a completely application this is completely this is a, this is based on hardware so since this is an application we can consider this as a program so this is not exist right this is a process there is nothing called uh, no, there is no hardware no this is a completely a process so since this is a process so this is sometimes called process based virtual machines also process based virtual machines so there is a terminology like that also okay so now we know what are the types of uh, virtual machines exist out of these two categories jvm is falling under application uh, based virtual machine so that's why I told you there is nothing really exist. So you cannot install or uninstall. And then let's try to understand. So JVM is completely a specification. JVM is completely a specification. It says how this should be done. And when you download JRE, Java Runtime Environment, it's, it's comes, uh, the JVM comes with the JRE. When you install JRE, it will uh, deploy all the codes which uh, which can create a JVM. So if you are installing JRA on a Windows machine, it will create 
it will deploy the code which required to create a JVM for Windows environment. If you uh, install a JVM on a Mac, JRE on a Mac environment, it will deploy the code which required to create a JVM for Mac environment. So now you can understand, you may heard Java has a concept called write once, run anywhere. This is not, um, you can't blindly accept that because the program which uh, written to uh, run on the uh, server or different machine may not exactly uh, run without modification on a mobile device. But so we have a limitation, we have uh, um, conditions, but technically it's yes. So this is how Java approach that because even though Java is a platform independent, your JRE is tightly platform dependent. Your JRE is tightly platform dependent. So when you deploy, the, when you install the JRE, it will deploy the codes to create a JVM. So when you execute the Java program, it create a JVM instance and it create a JVM. JVM will take care of converting your Java code, uh, your byte code into machine code. Otherwise, that's a uh, direct terminology. Um, but we can see how really uh, JVM do this with the next few videos. But for the moment, uh, as a conclusion, what we learn, uh, there are many type of uh, virtual machines. So JVM is falling under application based virtual machine and uh, JVM there is nothing really exist called JVM because that's why it's virtual machine there is nothing exist in a reality but JRE, JRE contains a JVM so when you uh, install JRE it's deploy codes to create a JVM so when you run your program JVM take care to read the read your class file and uh, convert that to the language which your operating system is understand so that's how Java became platform independent so uh, next video we are going to open up this jvm and see what's really inside what are the components and what this each component would do for you see you on the next video